picnic. Hmm, some nice ripe pears, some crunchy hazelnuts. Ah, carrots! Hi there, squirrel. Look here, I've gathered lots of good things for us to eat. Will you come on a picnic with me? Huh? Where? In outer space, of course. <laughs> Let's go! Let's see now. Shall we have a picnic on Mercury? Ah, no, too small. On beautiful Venus? No, it's too hot under its clouds, and it doesn't smell very good either. On Mars? No, it's much too dusty there. Let's look further. Too many storms on Jupiter. Neptune! Oh, it's really too cold there. I think that the Earth is the only comfortable place for a picnic. <laughs> you should look a little bit further. What is it that you see all around you in the sky? Well, stars. Lots of stars, like you, Sun. Yes, but take a little better look. Oh, I see little spots passing in front of the stars. Take a look, Squirrel. But what are they, Sun? Perhaps comfortable places to have a picnic. <laughs> Did you hear that, Squirrel? Come on, let's go! Woohoo! Oh, boy! That's right. In outer space, almost all of the stars have planets. They're called exoplanets. I have a big one very close to me. <laughs> it looks like Jupiter, but bigger. So do we. We also have planets. Lots of them, even. I have three. I have seven. We're looking for an exoplanet comfortable enough to picnic on. Yeah. Let's go see that one. It's too windy, you know? <laughs> it's really cold here. Too cold! <laughs> boy, oh boy, this exoplanet is boiling. It's way too close to its star. Yeah, too much smoke on this one. Ooh, it's stifling here as well. There's only just water here. It really is an easy find the perfect spot for our picnic. There are thousands of us exoplanets in the galaxy. One of them is right for you, that's for sure. Hello, Milky Way. Do you have in your arms an exoplanet perfect for picnicking? Of course. Have a look around that little red star. There is one perfect for that. Temperature. We'll finally be able to picnic. Oh, there's nothing left to eat. You snacked on everything during our voyage? Ah, <laughs> cutie pie. We'll just go back to planet Earth to get us some more food. Some nice ripe pears and lots of crunchy hazelnuts. Good job, Squirrel. We're all ready for our next picnic on an exoplanet. Like the sun, most of the stars have planets that orbit around them. They are called exoplanets that can be big, little, very hot, very cold, or warm like planet Earth. Great Voyager of the Galaxy. <laughs> Let's do it again! <laughs> Whoa. Hello, Gorilla. Do you want to try my boomerang? It's easy. You just have to throw it really hard. Wow, well done, Gorilla! But I'm not sure it's going to come back this time. Don't you worry, we can go and get it. Hello, Neptune. Have you seen our boomerang? I don't know what that is, but something is coming towards us right now at high speed. It is strangely whirling around. I've never seen anything like it. That's surely our boomerang coming back. Woohoo! <laughs> Quick, Gorilla, let's catch it. Woohoo! Whoa, but you're not 
about our boomerang? Whoa, you're way bigger. My name is Oumuamua. It's my first time in your solar system. Welcome. This is Gorilla, and I'm Little Malabar. I really love your name. Oumuamua means scout. I go scouting from star to star and admire all their planets one after the other. Woohoo! You hear that, Gorilla? We discovered a super rock voyager. And have you been traveling for long like this, Oumuamua? Oh, I sure have. When I was born, I up and left my star. And ever since, I've been traveling throughout the galaxy! But how did you do that? <laughs> I'll tell you all about it. It was a very long time ago, very far away from your sun. There was another star and other planets. And there was a huge rock that was turning close to the star. But little by little, it got a bit too close to the star. And that made the rock go haywire. It started turning faster and faster, and then became elongated, and then everything accelerated. And the big rock broke into several rocks that got close to the star again, and then began to speed up again, turning about every which way. And some of them were even ejected far away out into outer space. And one of those was me. I am Oumuamua, the great voyager of the galaxy. And this is how I've traveled far and wide, and how I made it all the way here to you. <laughs> and that's it. I'm so super fast that I was able to leave my star. Wow, Oumuamua. Welcome to our solar system. Let me introduce you to our star, the sun. Hey, can't say I've seen you around here before. That's normal. I'm just passing by. Now I'm off towards another star. And you, what are you going to do? Us? Well, uh, what was it we came here to do already? <laughs> oh, the boomerang. We have to catch it. <laughs> well done, Gorilla. Bon voyage, Oumuamua. Will you come back and see us? Oh, I really doubt that. The galaxy is far too big, and there are so many stars to visit. Bye-bye. Yes, we did it. It's a good thing my boomerang isn't like Oumuamua. It always comes back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gorilla, throwing boomerangs is definitely not your thing. Mm -hmm. In outer space, certain big rocks move so fast that they leave their star and travel throughout the galaxy. One of them passed by close to our sun before going on its way. It's Oumuamua.